Alyssa from Planned Alyssa and I actually am going to have a haul video for you today. Um, but first it's a ride along video because I have to uh, get to the stores. It's, uh, it's Christmas week I guess. Uh, it's the Monday before Christmas so Christmas is just under a week away. And uh, you know I'm, I'm done with all my Amazon you know Christmas stuff. I've been done actually with that for a while. And I really haven't been to a thrift store in, well, I mean, I haven't done much thrift shopping lately, I guess. So this will be my first time in a while going out to the thrift stores. I don't know what I'll find today. That's not really the primary purpose of this shopping trip. Um, I do have family coming into town for Christmas. So uh, I gotta get some food so that they have something to eat. And some food for Christmas so um, that's m really the reason I'm going out today but I'm gonna hit a couple of thrift stores while I'm over there because I might as well and who knows me I'll find some good stuff it'll it'll pay for our Christmas dinner we'll see um, but sales have been really good um, you know it's fourth quarter what can I say um, you know Amazon has been doing well it's always interesting I think like the fourth quarter on Amazon to see how it how it goes like I mean you know, I buy a ton of stuff right before Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and maybe just after, and, you know, shipped it in, and, like, huge quantities of stuff, you know, because you get these different deals at the different stores that have, and you just buy everything you can, um, and send it in, you know, if the rank is, is good, and then it's kind of a waiting game, um, you know, some stuff sells right away when you send it in, you get lucky with that, but other stuff, it's just a matter of waiting until you get the buy box, and then once you do get the buy box, then it's just boom, 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 they just sell one right after another, um, and so, interesting to see that, I think pretty much now, I had something that sold, you know, over the weekend where, you know, I had a bunch there, and they're all gone now, um, so I just have, like, one item now that I bought in quantity that hasn't sold, um, I may be sitting on that one for a little while because the price isn't where I want it to be yet. Um, and, you know, I think it will get back up there because of the rank and stuff. But it might not be till after Christmas. But um, it's something that will still sell after Christmas, so I'm not really worried. Um, it's not like one of those, like, hot Christmas items necessarily. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I always find Christmas, uh, the fourth quarter, to be interesting the way Amazon works. And, you know, just see how that, like, whole buy box thing works and, and you know when something has a low enough rank you'll just see like the sales come right, one right after another which is pretty cool um but yeah um so at some point I will have like a, a year end review of you know what I made as a reseller this year and, and look at my goals for the year and see how I did but uh, not quite ready for that I've been trying to catch up on things I still have a mound of receipts I have to enter into my bookkeeping software even though I have stuff that posts automatically. Um, I have other stuff that I have to enter and I just kind of all year have just been kind of putting that to the side and, and have to, you know, enter a bunch of things, um, especially stuff that I bought like November, December um, that I haven't entered yet. So I got some work cut out for me and like I said, I have family coming to town this week. They're now, I now have family coming here a day earlier than I thought originally. Uh, I found out over the weekend that, uh, yeah, they're coming Friday instead of like, we're coming like Thursday night instead of Friday night. Um, so that does make a difference. It kind of changes my schedule a little bit, um, but it'll be fine. Um, you know, it's good. It's all good. Yeah, I, uh, I changed my schedule today too. I was planning on going out earlier. It's like, uh, it's 10, 10 right now. Um, but what happened was we got rain yesterday. It was actually kind of warm yesterday, so it rained here. It rained quite a bit. And then it got cold last night, like really cold. So everything froze, and I was going to go out pretty early, like, I don't know, before the post office opened, um, you know, because I was planning on not shipping my stuff till I came home. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to wait. I'll wait until the sun's up and you know, anything that's like frozen on the road is pretty much melted or whatever. So, um, it's still cold out. It's 24 degrees out right now, but, uh, the roads are fine now. So, you know, I think I made the right decision and, and I don't know, it might've been fine if I went out early too, but I'd just rather play it safe. I, there's no reason I need to get out super early. I was just hoping to, to get out early and get home early and, you know, so I'll get home a little later. No big deal. Uh, meanwhile, my packages are all shipped out, so I don't have to worry about that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
so that's how things are going here um, I hope you guys are you know doing well with sales and uh, if you're you know have guests coming for Christmas that you're ready for them or will soon be ready um, I will soon be ready it's a it's an interesting situation I have I'm not gonna get into all the details but basically not only do I have guests coming it's it's like I won't be cooking in my own kitchen because we're, we're staying at my boyfriend's house, which is really his parents' house, but may eventually not be their house, and they're not there, they're in Florida, and like, so, you know, I'll be cooking in that kitchen, which means, like, I, I don't know, it, it's a little bit more interesting, I guess, you know, because I know my kitchen, uh, first of all, I know where everything is, I know my stove and oven pretty well, uh, so it's always, I mean, I know his stove and oven, it's not that big a deal, but it's a little different, you know, and, and so I'll be like, there's gonna be something that I'll be looking for and I won't have remembered to bring it and I don't know if they'll have it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, always a challenge, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's just, you know, I like to keep things interesting. Uh, so that's how things are going. But I will catch up with you uh, when I actually, you know, do my thrift shopping. Like I said, I'm gonna hit some other stores first and uh, see what I can find. Uh, you know, as far as food stuff, I'm going to like the, the cheap grocery stores today. Um, I don't know if you have, like discount grocery stores where you are, but we have some here. And and so today is like the discount grocery stores, so I can get everything on my list that I need um, at the discount stores. And then anything that's left on the list, you know, we'll go and we'll we'll pay full price for at the full price grocery store. Um, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. But uh, you know, I like to like to save money where I can. Uh, so we'll see. And we'll see. Maybe I'll get enough stuff at the thrift stores that uh, it'll actually end up paying for uh, for food for Christmas. But anyway, I'll catch up with y'all later. Hey guys, I am actually back home now. In fact, it is the next day, and I am going to show you what I picked up yesterday while I was out shopping. I got home kind of late yesterday, had a dog to walk, had stuff to do, figured I'd just make this video in the morning and the light is better now so uh, you can actually see me and see the stuff that I picked up and hopefully the camera computer keeps working because it, uh, it was being kind of weird just a second ago but seems to be working now. So uh, yesterday I went to two thrift stores, went to Salvation Army and a like a local thrift store, spent uh, about $85, I think, $85 uh, and change. Uh, most of that at the one store, it's a big box from there, $69 worth of stuff, and then the rest from the Salvation Army, which was my last stop of the day. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up for that 85 bucks. I think I did pretty well. Um, I think uh, it might cover the cost of the groceries that I picked up too. So this is something to go on Etsy. Um, it is a spoon rack, like souvenir type spoons or any kind of spoons I guess you could put on it. Okay guys, I'm having like trouble today with this. Uh, it's not working right. But anyway, cut off on me. Um, here's the spoon rack. It was $4.50. Pretty cool design. Gonna go off to Etsy. I said more than that, but I don't think they recorded it. Um, Anyway, I also got a set of juice glasses to go on Etsy. Uh, vintage glasses, pretty cool. They're blue with like a, I don't know if you can see, there's like trees there, bamboo, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, they were a dollar a piece, so six dollars for the set. The maker on these is Colony. It looks like they were made in, in, in Italy, I'm sorry. Um, I started to say England because this mug was made in England. Um, I just showed it to you, but you didn't see it because I got cut off. Um, and it's Lipton Special Teas. It was like an advertising thing. So it's lemon, cinnamon, and chamomile. Um, and uh, anyways, 50 cents. Go on Etsy. And then another mug here. Uh, this one's Hallmark Cards mug. Um, it says, there's nothing like a friend. And then on the back, uh, friends see things eye to eye with that cute cartoon illustration. Uh, it's lavender color. This was 50 cents too. Uh, then I got some vintage, I think they're vintage, um, pulls, like light pulls or fan pulls. Um, I'll have to do a little more research on them, but they just looked older to me. Uh, one is in the shape of a cardinal and one is just round with, or oval, I guess, with a tall ship on it there. So I I will do a little more research on those. These were $1.50 for this set of two of them, and I would probably sell them separately because they don't really go together. Um, I got this, this was $4, which is kind of high, but 
It's a vintage puzzle set, like kids puzzle set, um, in the original box from Play School. So you can kind of see what it looks like there. Um, has the original, I guess, instruction card. Or, oh, it's a tray frame, I guess. Okay, yeah, that comes out and you use that as the frame. Uh, so here's like a puzzle. Uh, you know, you match it up. Very simple. Um, great vintage illustrations on them. Um, somewhere, obviously, uh, but pretty cool set. So I'm going to sell those on Etsy. I'm going to list them on Etsy. Hopefully I sell them. Uh, this is an Amazon find. It's a Sony Dream Machine alarm clock. It's the kind that has a CD that'll play a CD. Um, and it was $15, so they had a price a little bit higher. They do have a tested works sticker on it. This, uh, this store does usually test their electronics. Um, I might test it just to make sure. Um, but this is to go off to Amazon, even at $15, even used. Um, there's some good money to be made, and it has a super low uh, rank. And uh, speaking of old electronics and such, um, I got a vintage telephone, rotary phone, uh, bright red. I've definitely sold at least one bright red one before. Um, has some stickers on it, so see if I can get those off. This was $5, um, but I can probably get about 40 for it on Etsy. So um, I don't know where I'm going to test it because I used to test it at my boyfriend's house because they used to have a uh, landline phone service over there, and they don't anymore. So... Uh, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to test it. This is just like a little wall plaque thing. Um, you know, very Americana design. Uh, it's 18, it says 1808 and Temperance um, with the eagle. Um, and it was $1.50 that I paid for. It's metal, painted metal, made in USA. Um, so I'll list that on Etsy. I think someone might buy that. I don't know. This was something I'd never seen before. I don't know if anyone would would want it on Etsy, but I'm going to try and list it. It's $2. Um, it's a vintage uh, cash register tray. So, you know, the bills go here, um, maybe receipts there, and our coins here. I mean, it's just a, a tray, but it's solid metal. Um, you know, the ones you find today are usually plastic, and I don't know. Someone might want a vintage money tray. So I got a whole bunch of playing cards. They were a dollar a piece, and some of them are the same. So got a bunch of yeah, um, these ones with the dog on them. These are all pinochle cards, by the way. Um, they're not standard playing cards, they're pinochle. Um, this was from something called Wayne Dog Food. So they're probably like a premium that you got with the dog food or whatever. Um, so three of them have the red border. One of them has the blue border. I'm not sure if they're all complete, um, but if not, um, well, first of all, there should be enough to at least make one, if not two complete sets from those red ones. And if not, um, you know, I'll lot them together with others and, you know, sell them as a, you know, mixed lot for, for paper crafts or collectors or whatever. Um, then these were, I believe, all new sealed pinochle decks. Now this box was open, but the cards inside were sealed. And um, it's just a plain thing, but they are new and sealed. Uh, the brand is Lexington, so um, I don't know. You know, they're not that, that fancy, but the fact that they were unused might make them appealing. These are all a dollar a piece. And then I also got uh, this Pinochle set. This is a, a chem set, a uh, chem brand. And um, not super exciting that it's a double Pinochle deck. So it's this and then uh, this one here. Um, but in the original chem logo box, plastic box, so we shall see. I don't know if it's complete. I'll have to check. Now, this was $1.50, uh, the, the double deck. Got a bunch of crafty things. Well, this, that's all taped up, but it's 99 cents. It's fabric. Um, it's cut and sew to make, like, a, a cloth book. And from what I can tell what's showing, um, it looks pretty... Much like a biblical thing, like a Bible story type thing that looks like, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that's Moses there. I'm not sure. Um, and then I got a bunch of different craft kit things. Um, this is one of the smaller ones. Looks maybe like cruel embroidery. It's a dollar um, design, which you can't see because it's covered up. It's a cute little puppy dog. Uh, this set was $2. It's to make a stocking. Um, Needlepoint? Oh, counted cross stitch. Counted cross stitch. Uh, Two dollars. Uh, I'm not sure how it's counted cross stitch because the fabric. Oh, maybe that's that's the backing. I'm sorry. 
Uh, this is another counted cross stitch set. This is $2. Um, this is from New Orleans. It's a scene from New Orleans, Jackson Square. Uh, these were a dollar fifty. There are a whole bunch of different iron-on appliques, uh, kind of country motifs. Well, some teddy bears and koala bears there. I think I'll probably sell them as a lot on Etsy. Um, I got a set of four napkins for embroidery or painting. It says uh, two fifty there. They're stamped with a design. They do come with thread, um, and it's just a very simple, like botanical type design. Then here's a cruel kit, a uh, pillow kit, mushroom, great vintage style. This was only a dollar. Uh, another cruel kit that was only a dollar, another great vintage one, uh, this mouse here. Uh, this is a stamped cross stitch project. Uh, this one was three dollars. I don't know why more money for this one, uh, especially since like the instructions aren't here for it. It's just the, the fabric and the thread, but um, I will still make money on Etsy with that. Um, and this is another cut and sew fabric pound. This one's $2. Um, this is to make a tote bag, a college tote bag, and it's nice, um, like, canvas-type fabric, thicker fabric. And like a single CD, new sealed uh, Serpico with Al Pacino. Um, you know, not a rare film or anything, but it was going for enough money. I think this was $3. I think their DVDs are $3 unless they're, you know, otherwise marked. And I do believe that that is everything that I picked up at that thrift store, uh, the first one I went to. And then I also went to the Salvation Army and didn't get too much there, but got a few things. Um, this guy's to go on Etsy. Um, he was $3.99. He's a bank, actually. I don't know if you can tell, but there's um, a slot there. There's a, uh, you know, stopper down there. Um, it is vintage. Did it have a year on it? No. But um, just looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. It is officially licensed. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell with some of these things, but it does say it is officially licensed. And it's just, you know, Mickey Mouse. Uh, this is to go on Amazon. It is uh, my first TV, like a little music wind-up kind of thing. And it has like a lenticular sort of screen there. I guess it rolls along. Um, it's a new thing. It's like still in its package. $1.99. Get some books there. Uh, the books, well this one was $1.99. It's Father Arsony, 1893 to 1973. Priest, prisoner, spiritual father. So about some guy I've never heard of. Um, this is actually in translation. So it's originally written in another language and translated by Vera Butineff. So anyway. And I got Young Woman and the Sea. This was $1.99.2. Um, it's a hardcover, um, again, nonfiction about uh, Trudy, I'm not sure how to say her name, Adurl, Ederle, um, who conquered the English Channel and inspired the world, the woman that swam across the English Channel. Um, I got The Life and Games of Mikhail Tal. I guess biographies were uh, the thing yesterday. This one was 99 cents. Um, and a soft cover book. DVD there, this one was new and sealed, The Life Before Her Eyes with Uma Thurman and Evan Rachel Wood. Um, never even heard of that one. I got a couple of ashtrays. Um, now obviously they're the same, you know, style, same maker. One has this buck deer on it and then this one has like a horse-drawn carriage. Uh, they're made in Ireland. I feel like I've sold some of this style but not with these illustrations on them before. Um, I'll probably sell these as a set, even though, you know, they have different illustrations. And I'm not sure that someone who wants the buck deer is gonna necessarily want the carriage, but hey, whatever, we'll try. And that, guys, is everything that I picked up at the thrift store. So, you know, I hope to make some good money on that stuff. I will, at some point, make a whole follow-up video and show you uh, what I you know, what I made, uh, what sold, and, you know, how much money it brought in. Uh, I know I'm due to make some more of those haul follow-up videos, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them done. Um, I am busy prepping for Christmas, like I said. Um, I did go out and uh, do some food shopping yesterday. I might have done some retail arbitrage while I was out, too, which is probably why I got home later than I thought I was gonna get home. Um, but, uh, yeah. You know, I also did some retail therapy. I'll show you more haul. Um, it's not stuff I'm going to sell, it's just stuff for me, but uh, spent a whole dollar sixty of my own money at Kohl's um, and got some decent stuff. Um, I don't know, I'm not like a huge Kohl's shopper, 
but you know, I have the Kohl's charge and stuff, which I signed up for because I was buying stuff for Amazon. This was like a few years ago when they had like the, the Olaf ornaments from Frozen and, uh, you know, I bought a whole bunch of those and resold them on Amazon. Um, and so, you know, if you signed up for the charge, you got so much off or whatever. So it was a good deal. But, um, yeah, so I guess because I have that, um, it was my birthday and something else. I wound up with like $25 to spend at Kohl's, which I think I had to use by the end of the year. Um, so it was like a $10 certificate, another $10 certificate, and a $5 certificate. Um, and so even though I don't generally shop there, hey, if they're going to give me free money, I'll go there. And I guess I could have, you know, looked around for something to resell, but, um, I just, uh, shopped the clearance racks and found a few things for myself. And so for a whole dollar and 60 cents, um, I'll show you what I got. Okay, they left stuff on the hangers. Um, I don't really need the hangers, but anyway, um, got this cute dress. Um, I don't know what the maker is on an L, which I didn't know they made clothes because they're a magazine, right? Um, but it was $5.40. I mean, the original price on this was $54, but Kohl's is one of those stores where you never pay, like, the original price. It's always on some kind of discount, so just thought that was cute. I mean, summertime kind of dress, so it'll be a while before I wear it because it's cold here. Um... Similar colors, I guess. Um, I got this shirt, just like a hoodie shirt. Now, this is something I can wear right now because it's long sleeves. And what was this marked down to? Um, it was marked down to five sixty. I don't know. It was originally $24 or something. $26 looks like. Um, so, anyway, it's got the hood. You know, nothing fancy or anything, but hey. Um, got some shorts, which are stuck on something else. Um, just some cotton shorts, you know to wear in the summer, around the house, walking the dog, whatever, $2.20. Uh, again, a summertime thing, just a, like a tunic type top, but very nice material, very soft and like silky kind of feel. Um, it's a knit, um, $7.60 on this one, it's a big spender here. Um, but anyway, again, not till the weather gets warm, but you know, if you're gonna shop the clearance stuff, you buy stuff out of season. Um, and then got this, which is like a little, uh, dress. I don't know if you can see it, but like a short sleeve dress. This was $4.80 marked down from $48. Um, like their sporty line. I don't know how sporty it is, but, uh, you know, can wear it to walk the dog or hang out here or whatever. No pockets, of course. Uh, you know, women's clothing. We just, we don't get pockets. Um, and, and... And some earrings, which I guess originally had more on this card, but there's two pairs here. Um, this is two eighty, but they were actually a dollar sixty, uh, and originally fourteen dollars. But yeah, just plain silver metal studs. So not bad for one dollar and sixty cents. Oh yeah, and I got thirty percent off. Like I didn't have a coupon with me, and um, I don't know where I put it, but. You know, they give you the scratch off things if you don't remember to bring a discount coupon and, you know, you just randomly pick one. Well, I got one that was 30% off. So, you know, it worked out to be even cheaper than I was going to, you know, I wasn't going to pay much anyway, but I got a little bit extra off. So not bad for $160. Um, anyway, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to get that stuff at a thrift store for that price and this is all brand new. So cool. Uh, anyway, I will uh, catch up with you at some point to show you what I sold from this haul. And in the meantime, I hope your holiday preparations are going well. Um, if I don't see you before then, have a Merry Christmas. Although, I'll be putting out a video this week to show my sales for the week at some point. Sometime between cooking and entertaining guests, I'll get a video out to you guys. Okay, happy selling, everyone!